Today's Saturday. I finished up a different vlog yesterday. Thought I would start another one today. I look a little nuts. I have no makeup on and this camera washes out my eyebrows. Whatever. It is almost 10. I had a little bit of a sleep in. I stayed up last night watching Sweet Magnolias, the new season. But yeah, I had a little bit of a sleep in. I made matcha and avocado toast, the same thing as yesterday. It was really good, so I just wanted it again. I'm about to work out, get my morning going. It's almost noon, love that. I know it's Saturday and I typically do this over the course of the two days of the weekend. I don't really like to do it on one day. Sometimes it ends up like that. But what I wanted to do was show you how I get ready for the week. But typically I like to try and balance having some fun obviously it's the weekend with getting ready and really preparing for the week ahead just kind of you know like resetting just as important is taking care of myself so let's uh let's go work out about things that are out of my control but i pretend they're not and then wonder why the outcome's not pilates is such a weird workout so i just did a 30 minute pilates class and i'm relatively new to pilates i've done a lot of yoga at this point and with the bar challenge video that i did i did a lot of bar it's so weird <laughs> it's so weird because i just did a 30 minute class i got to the end and i was like oh that's it like i don't feel like i worked out at all but at the same time like there were points where i was like shaking and not all pilates classes are like this i feel like sometimes it's kind of like bar where they're like do this thing now do it a little bit more okay now pulse it there okay now hold it there okay now die but some pilates classes are just like they don't feel like you're doing much and then by the end you've actually burnt like a decent amount of calories like for a 30 minute class like i just burned slightly under what i would normally burn for something like bar or pretty quick moving yoga class without any like handstand attempts which is great like that's that's really all i'm aiming for these days so i just think that's so weird i got to try out my yoga strap that i got yesterday so felt like a professional yeah probably gonna go shower now and keep going with my prepping for the week routine i'm gonna wash my hair because the ends look amazing but the roots are my hair just gets ruined if it gets in the rain it just kind of sits wrong afterward that's the plan i'm also gonna dry brush so i'll take you along for that i've been dry brushing recently this is part of my like wedding prep routine beauty wise that i've been doing and i've been trying to dry brush two at least two times a week I'm gonna be honest, it's more like one. I'm trying to make it on like hair wash days. Blah, hair wash days, it hasn't been happening. The problem is I turn on the shower because I'm just like in a routine and then the water's already running and I'm like, well, I can't dry brush now because goodness knows I can't turn the water off again. That would be ridiculous. I have to continue. Anyway, I'm gonna go do that. Hello, I'm gonna dry brush now. So normally I would do this naked, but you know. You know, so this is my dry brush. I bought this a oh, really long time ago from the body shop, but they, they sell them everywhere now. I'll probably get them on Amazon. I'll find one, I'll link, one, I'll link one below. The point of dry brushing is to, I think of it like exercise and just any type of stimulation of your skin is it's going to get the blood flowing to that area. I find that when I work out, my skin is better because the blood is rushing to like all these different areas that it normally wouldn't go to. The deal behind dry brushing is kind of similar to that, mixed with like some lymphatic drainage so it's just gonna help you get rid of like excess fluid buildup in your skin. It's supposed to help with a bunch of things. Like it's supposed to help with like blood flow. It supposedly helps with like, stretch marks and cellulite, but like who knows about that kind of stuff. I just find that my skin is like so much nicer and like glowing and basically it's like an, an exfoliation for your skin. What you wanna do is you wanna start from your feet and work your way up and always brush towards your heart. You don't wanna push hard because this is a very stiff brush and you just kinda wanna like, you just wanna run it along the skin and move it all over and basically each area so from like here to here I would say this is one area you want to run over the whole area about three times in total and that's it I start on the bottoms of my feet which is new I never used to do that but I was watching some videos on dry brushing and then you also want to do like your hands as well and then you don't do your face with a body dry brush I know they make face ones I've never dry brushed my face yeah that's all I do
I should also mention that the other main point of this is cell turnover and getting rid of dead skin. Duh. Lydia Millen calls it delicate. I feel a teeny bit delicate this morning. As you saw last night, I went out for drinks with a friend of mine, which was super fun. We went to, if you're in Vancouver, we went to Brew Hall, which is basically this like very large room and they have many, many fun beers on tap. Yeah, it's great. They have some arcade games all on the side and they actually have a really pretty little back patio that has some, um, used to have like ping pong and things outside. And I think they used to have board games as well but I went to bed very late and now I am very tired and I look really good this morning. Today I wanted to continue, I'm laughing as, as well, today I wanted to continue how I prep for the week. <laughs> I would take you grocery shopping with me because this is the other thing that I would do. We always meal prep, we always grocery shop on the weekends. If I leave it to Monday, then the whole week is kind of off. Unfortunately, I am not going grocery shopping. So my partner is the one that's going grocery shopping without me today. Um, so that's where he is right now. Um, when he gets back, we're going to do some meal prep. So typically what we like to do is sit and brainstorm together and come up with a grocery list. The thing that we like to do for dinner is make a dinner that lasts at least two nights usually so that we're not cooking every night and we maybe just have to like make one or two things of the dinner or it's just completely ready to eat. So today is also a rest day for working out. I like to take at least one of the two weekend days to fully rest. On this day I'll either do some stretching or uh, if my muscles are really sore I'll roll them out or I will truly do nothing. <laughs> That's what I'll be doing today. I'll bring you along with some of the meal prep. I'm also going to do a little bit of cleaning today when I'm feeling a little bit more steady. So I'm gonna vacuum, I'm gonna do a little bit of dusting, and then I also like to tidy the bathroom. That's it. Day, well, it is pretty simple, but that is all we need. We would have each other and if off the coconut seed, I know you love the ocean and you love the sun. We could take our clothes off and have some fun and we'll grow old like two leather bags, leave footprints on the beach as we walk through the sand. We'll grow old like two leather bags Let the sun kiss our skin as we run hand in hand Shoes and dresses, who needs them when you have your bikini and the clear ocean And when the sun ain't watching and the moon's out too, we could have some fun in the lagoon, just me and you, well, we could live happy for the rest of our days. Maybe one day have some kids and teach them our silly ways. Well, they would dance in the moonlight as I play on my guitar. And you can teach them to wish when they see a shooting star. And we'll grow old like two leather bags, leave footprints on the beach as we walk through the sand. We'll grow old like two leather bags, let the sun kiss us. 